unit 30 and assign one, what makes it effectively the qualities? Uh, one quality of support is knowledge for support, like, such as understanding the skills required, such um, being able to be developed from like, basics to advanced. Uh, one, one example is Jordan Mourinho. He's not, he's never been there. He's, I think he was started off with Bangal's interpreter or something. And then now he's one of the best managers going. So he understands how to develop the game, he understands how to read the game. And then another development for basic to advance is Zinedine Zidane. He was, the, he was a former player. And then he became the manager of the B team for Real Madrid. Now he's the manager for the A team for Real Madrid. And, hopefully, and then I think they won find it. Another one is improving on one's performance, analyzing their strengths and weaknesses. Next is uh, knowledge of rules and laws, such as understanding, uh, uh, being strict on rules and being strict on regulations, such as promote, also promoting fair play. Also, with the rules and laws, one needs to be a good role model. Example, a bad example of a good role model would be uh, what's his name, Matt Ferguson, when he kicked the football uh, football boot on Beckham's left or right eye. Another a bad, good example of Roman would be a captain. A captain motivates the team so they know who to look up to. Uh, promote fair play such as Nigel Owens. <laughs> Nigel Owens is not uh, intimidated even though like you could uh, even though uh, he's always like he's he's gay so that doesn't affect the players, that doesn't affect him. Like no one's gonna like racist, racially abuse him because of his game. So to, plus, if you see here, he took on two massive players, and he's telling them they're acting very immature. Also, with this, he informs, he makes informed decisions. Okay, another one is mental requirements. Understanding the mental needs of a player, such as uh, how to motivate them. Are they motivated through money or motivated through goals? Such as let's just say Ronaldo maybe were motivated to winning the amount of goals in a season, and let's just say Rooney's motivated with goals. I think he recently signed a contract for three hundred thousand per week. And then other other ones would be strategies like how the manager approaches like different players, as I said. Okay. And also, uh, and then other physical requirements like such as age, gen uh, age, disabilities, injuries, and fitness levels such as age, uh, you have to approach like a younger target or like, a younger player differently than you would approach an uh, older player because of the experience levels and the concentration levels. Also you have to take into fitness levels into account such as, um, let's just say, uh, Ryan Giggs in his, in his prime maybe did have good fitness skills but now he maybe wasn't. Uh, injuries, you have to, you, you can't like exclude them from the team, you still have to keep them involved. Characteristics, four characteristics. Objectivity, such as fairness. Like, so, uh, fairness would be equal opportunities. E equal opportunities. Like Victor Valdez left Manchester United because he wasn't playing. He left the reserves because he wasn't playing. So, so he didn't get fair play. Also, there was no favoritism, such as I think uh, Ferguson had a hair dry treatment where he used to scream at the players face to face uh, if they were underperforming. I think every player in the team did experience this. And the way of fair, um, fairness is equal opportunities. Oh no, be factual, like judging, like judging on based on facts, like facts and statistics. Okay. Persistence. Persistence is like never giving up, never stop, never, never trying to stop. Uh, another one is encouraging participants. Like Yaya Taylor was uh, encouraged by Pellegrini when he was underperforming, saying that he's got his back, <laughs> praising him, saying that, oh, don't worry about it. Uh, and then another one is keeping on standards such as like Blackpool only became, uh, I think this went to the Premier League in 2010 after 40 years. Uh, another one, consistency. <laughs> okay. uh, consistency is having the same approach, same behaviour, same characteristics such as like a bad ex like, uh, example of um, consistency is Arsenal, they have been in BPL fourth position six times consecutively. So as you can see, form is temporary, fourth is permanent. However, like I think this year, um, Wenger did change in that way because he's the first on the table. So consistency with a bit of a change makes a good mind. Another one is forgiving, uh, not taking things personally, such as 
Chelsea and Jose. Um, I think some of the staff, some of the members in the Chelsea team said they prefer to lose than win. I think Fabregas was one of them. But I also react appropriately, like as I said before, Ferguson did kick, uh, did kick a boot on Gerald's on this eye, on one of his eyes, just because Gerald, uh, not, not Gerald, Beckham scored. Uh, and also, you should have all got Bridges or move on. Rhodes. One role would be organised, be prepared, be like have your equipment ready before the game. So if you're prepared, uh, your players are going to be prepared, they're going to be mentally and physically there. Also, also have a contingency, contingency plan. The contingency plan is a backup plan, it's to say if it's raining outside, a manager knows that you can't play cricket outside, so you bring the game in. Also, most, uh, another example of uh, organising is most managers, they pick their national team before, like months before the first game. So the team is uh, physically and mentally fit. Another one, uh, another one is psychologist. One, Jason Marino is one of the best psychologists. One was in the rank of this one. Uh, he understands the sport psychology, so he understands how to make his players tick. So, uh, Josie once said, football is a human science. He knows what uh, motivates them. Like he's, he also said that you have to understand each player's emotional and personal goals. And then a guardian takes care. Uh, okay, example of a guardian is, uh, what's his name? Arsene Wenger. For example, because he takes care of his participants, which is he also when they said that he has lied to the press because um, just to back case his players. He also keeps them safe, protects them, and makes sure that they're okay. That's about it. And then role model, a good role model would so a good example of a good role model is David Beckham just because he sets good examples, he sets the standards high and he, he dresses professionally. He like if you dress professionally, you know you're like if someone sees you in a suit, you know he's running. He, and then also he's responsible for participants such as Jose when he avoids his players, he avoids the blame on his players, he says that oh, I don't blame the players, I don't blame the game, I just don't accept the results. However, he did blame the players once, which kind of sucked. Also, you need to be enthusiastic. A good role model is enthusiastic. Thank you. And that's my reference page. And